Hi folks, Glyn Jewis here. This is episode 79. Now before we kick off, I've just got a little bit of an, an apology to make and that is that this video is, is kind of geared towards those of you who are using the Creative Cloud. So you've got Photoshop CC. Now if you haven't got it, it's only a really short video so you might as well just hang around because you never know in the future you may, may take the leap over to the Creative Cloud. But this is a, uh, it's, it's one of those videos that you're either going to know it or you don't. If you do know it already, then fantastic. If you don't, then great, you're going to learn something. But this is just a way that you can use the libraries in Creative Cloud and specifically in Photoshop to really speed up your workflow. All right, so back in episode 77, I covered watermarking your pictures, and I showed you how you can do it using the export within Lightroom, and I also showed you how you can create your own signature brush within Photoshop to add your signature onto your pictures. I also showed you how uh, you can actually add your logo to your picture, and that's kind of leading on now to what this video is all about. So let's just say that you're only using Photoshop, you don't use Lightroom, and you wanted to just maybe upload a picture to put it onto the internet, and you wanted to add your logo onto it. Ordinarily, what you'd probably have to do is go to the farm menu, choose something like place or place embedded, depending on what version of Photoshop you're using. Then you'd have to navigate to the folder that contains the graphic or the logo that you want to use. So I'm navigating all the way through, I find the logo here. Obviously, because it's used the place command, it's already got the transform handles on it so I can resize it. Then I can get my move tool, drag it down, and then just change the opacity, something like that. So that's kind of like a really long-winded way. There's no, you know, if you're not in a rush, then it's not necessarily a problem, but what happens if you just want to get more efficient and work quicker within Photoshop? Well, this is where using libraries were going to come really into, into their own here. Now, in the top right of the screen over here, I've got libraries, this little tab. In fact, let's just click and drag that out so you can see it a lot clearer. So this is the Libraries tab here, and these are the ones that you can see on screen. These are the ones that are in there by default. But if I click on this little down arrow here, you're gonna see there's a few in here that I've already already uh, created. I've got Glyn's logo, miscellaneous, Glyn's brushes, and my Libraries one that you've just seen. Now, what we can do here is, I've already got some already uh, installed in my library, but if I click on Glyn's logo, you're gonna see already there's three versions of my logo. Logo white, logo blue and white, and logo black and white. So all I would need to do, in Photoshop is just click on the libraries tab, go to my uh, menu here that contains all my logos and just drag it across over into my picture. I can then resize it and then drag it down with my move tool just like before and then change the opacity. The great thing is when we drag it out of the library it creates its own separate layer so obviously that does then give us the opacity uh, that we can play around with. So you can see that that in itself is incredibly quick. So how do we go about actually adding things into the library? Because there's so many things that you can add into this which are really gonna help speed up your workflow. Well, like I said, to create your own library, you just open the drop-down menu here, say Create New Library. You'd call it whatever you want in this little area here, then click on Create. Now, I'm gonna go back to my one here, which is the logos, because there's one more that I wanna add into this, and this is how we add stuff in. Literally open it up in Photoshop. Like we've got this little document here. This is the G and the D part of my logo, which I think is genius, done by Dave Clayton. The letters G and D, it's also my face. A lot of people didn't realize that. But all you need to do now to put this into your library so you can make it nice and fast to get hold of later on instead of going through all the little folders, is just get your move tool, click on the actual um, document area, drag it over into the library. You'll see the little plus icon come in and then let go. So now you'll see that that actual uh, has been added into the library here. Now it's called background. Whatever the, the actual layer is called, that's what the actual graphics can be called in here. But we can change that, just double click on it, and then I'm gonna call that GD blue stroke white. So now that is always going to be available to me really, really quick without me having to search through going things like file, place, and then navigate into a folder. The great thing is as well, as I'm on the Creative Cloud, this library here is gonna sync across other applications that I use within the Creative Cloud, things like InDesign and what have you. So that's gonna be always available to me. Now one that I did today when I was actually uh, this morning, what a workshop coming up, or rather a course coming up, and I wanted to add in the sold out sign. So I've got some some stock library images. I created a folder here called miscellaneous and here we have it says sold out. So all I did again, dragged it across, 
put it into the picture. And I've got these smart guides. You can probably see those snapping up there. The smart guides are now gonna allow me to position it so I've got it kind of like dead center on the picture, somewhere around about there. And then to change the color of it, all I did was literally go to the hue and saturation. We add the clipping mask right at the bottom down here so that the color adjustment only affects this layer here, the layer directly below the adjustment in the layers panel. So we click on that and then just use the hue to change the color of it. So there you go, nice and quick, nice and simple. I'm finding that this is really helping to speed up my workflow, so I'm all for that. So let's just tidy this up now. Let's just close down the properties and we can drag the libraries back up. In fact, I'm not gonna put them there. I'm just gonna put them on the left-hand side of the layers just there, because that allows me to see them much bigger than they were at the top. So I think now I've done that, let's just save this as a workspace. So let's go workspace and we'll go new workspace and I'm gonna call this Glyn's favorite and we'll click save. So the great thing is now, if later on I kind of go a bit crazy and move things all over the place, I can just come into window, workspace and then reset Glyn's favorite. And you see how everything just pops back in to make it nice and tidy. So there you go, that's it. That's all for this week. Very quick uh, video there. Um, all I ask is that if you haven't already, just subscribe to the channel and just do me a favor by spreading the love. Let other people know about it as well. But uh, that's all for this week. I'll see you next time.